Please subscribe Sporta TV for more information, MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. A terrifying incident on the first lap in Barcelona saw a multi-rider pile-up before Banyaya Highside and landed in front of oncoming traffic and was struck in the legs by Bender. Peko Banyaya was conscious but rushed to the medical center, and Binder later retired early from the restarted race before heading over to check on his fellow rider. Crazy last couple of hours, the KTM rider emotionally detailed. I got a really good lunch in the race, and I was between Maverick and Miguel going through turn 1 and 2. On the exit of 2, I didn't see a thing. Until I saw Peko and his bike in the middle of the track. Then I clipped something on his bike. I was shaking trying to miss him, then I clipped his leg, or something. Yeah, I don't really know. I ended up falling. Thank goodness I saw him moving. He's obviously hurt but seems fine. After Banyaya and Ania Bastianini, who was injured in the initial pileup, were transported to hospital, the red-flagged Grand Prix was able to restart. I went back and started the race again. I never had a backup hard, Binder said. The start was okay, I had to try and bring temperature to it, I did that. Then we had a technical issue. He immediately visited Peko Banyaya who was still on his mind. I went to see Peko Banyaya. He seems okay. It's really, the trickiest part is to get back on and carry on. The good thing was that I saw him move. He was moving. I just clipped his leg or legs, I don't quite know. But I got over enough that, at least, I didn't hit him square. It's every writer's worst nightmare. To see someone there is scary, but to be the one who hits them is even more shit, to be honest. I don't know if he's okay, but he's fine, you know what I mean? Brad Bender actually said that he found Banyaya in a better state than expected. I went to see him, he said. Honestly, when I walked in there, I wasn't expecting to see him chilling. He seemed okay. My only priority today is that I never hurt anybody. On the other hand, starting 12th, Miller was lucky to avoid the initial pileup triggered by Ania Bastianini, that also took out Johan Zarco, Alex Marquez, Fabio Di Antonio, and Marco Bazzecchi. But his relief was short-lived when he found himself caught up in the aftermath of Peko Banyaya's huge high side. After being launched from the lead on the exit of the first chicane, Banyaya landed in the middle of the track. Debris from his Ducati damaged the KTM of Miller's teammate Brad Binder, who couldn't avoid running over the Italian's legs. While Ania Bastianini suffered ankle and hand fractures, Peko Banyaya miraculously escaped any serious injury. I got a decent start, braked pretty late up the inside, then Bastianini centered in from a long way back, Miller said. As soon as I saw it as we'll start hopping I thought here we go. So I braked a little more and, sure enough, it was Domino's at turn 1. Then Peko got a cold tire and sent himself for 6. I tried to avoid everything, Peko and the bike. Brad copped that piece of shit in the radiator or whatever. It started pissing, fluid, out. There was stuff flying, like spraying everywhere. Brad jumped Peko as well, then crashed when he landed, I don't know if stuff went on the tire. Then I had his bike in front of me. I ended up jumping the back of Brad's bike, smashed my front guard off, but managed to stay on it somehow. Then came back and reset. The restart saw Miller up to 6th on the opening lap, before losing out to Alex Marquez and Fabio Cordero. The trio crossed the line covered by just a few tenths of a second. I wasn't very happy in warm-up so I gave the boys my feedback, said we needed to do something radical for the race, and it was good, said Miller, who had reverted to his front-end style bike balance this weekend. It took me 5 or 6 laps just to understand what the bike was doing to get the most out of it because they changed the right height, length and certain parts a massive amount. I was happy with the result. We made some headway. Couple of mistakes early on, my front right hand side of the tire went off a little earlier than I would have liked. You could tell by the braking at turn 1, people missing their braking points and not being able to stop. That happened to me a little bit earlier than the others, and then you start readjusting. But I was able to stay fighting with the boys until the end. 
I kind of didn't know it was the last lap. Fabio was pushing hard to Alex and I was pushing Fabio really hard but ran out of time. But happy to have a strong finish to the race, fight and be closer to the front than the sprint. The Australian added, we've made a big step today for sure, which is nice because we've been playing a lot in these low grip conditions, trying to understand what we need to do to create grip and feeling and corner speed. We were able to find that today, a bit, and we'll keep playing around with that. Now we go to Mizano next week, which is a higher grip track, like Harace. So we can run our more standard style setup and it should work pretty good. On the other hand, Banyaya Highside on the first lap then, when he landed on the ground, his legs were struck by Brad Binder's KTM. He was rushed away to hospital but it has since been confirmed that he suffered no major damage. I had a lot of luck today. I have to be thankful, Banyaya said as he left hospital in Barcelona on crutches. Sometimes you need to have luck. Asked how he high side, Banyaya replied, I don't know. I had very low grip on the warm-up lap. And I just took a very big hit. It was not a normal high side. It's very hard to understand what happened at the moment. For sure, it wasn't a normal crash. The rear grip that I had in the warm-up lap wasn't normal. Astonishingly, the factory Ducati rider could return to continue the defense of his MotoGP championship next weekend. We'll do everything we can to be in Mizano, and to do well. Peko Banyaya remains at the summit of the MotoGP standings, aiming for a second title in a row. His teammate Inia Bastianini, though, will need surgery after a separate crash at the Catalunya MotoGP just moments before Banyaya's. Every rider dedicated their performance to Banyaya as he lay in hospital post-race, with Marc Marquez insisting that the entire sport was lucky that no serious harm came to him. Paco Banyaya was able to fly back to Italy on Sunday night.